What's up guys? I'm Olivia and you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today we wanted to show you guys our new truck that we're going to be using to tow the Airstream and to accommodate our growing family. But right now we got to get it washed because it got pretty gross on the drive home from Orlando. So we're heading through the car wash now. guys we're here in the car wash getting this old girl washed up like Olivia said we got it in Orlando it was great and perfectly clean whenever we bought it but there were so many bugs on the way back so before we show you we wanted to give this girl a bath but we're gonna take it down to the water give you a good look on the outside and then Olivia is gonna tell you her whole decision-making process on why we picked this one guys so you can see behind us and as you just saw in some of that b-roll what we purchased was a GMC Sierra before we get to the specs though I want Olivia to speak about the process on how she found this because it was literally at least six months in the making yeah so we were just keeping our eyes out locally at first um, and we weren't finding many great deals in the area all of the four-wheel drive trucks around here had just kind of been worn out and had tons and tons of miles on them and we knew if we were making this investment in a truck that we wanted it to last us a while so I kind of expanded my search into the neighboring states and I found this truck in Orlando actually um, through a website it's like a wholesale dealership and they had a huge inventory and this one just really checked all of the boxes for us so you talked about the checking the boxes let's talk about some of those boxes that both we had together and some of the specific ones that you really wanted for this truck yes so we kind of had a ballpark price range I don't think we really wanted to spend more than twenty five thousand dollars this one was listed at twenty two thousand um, probably at the end of the day we spent around twenty three um, at sixty three thousand miles on it which was great it's a 2012 so we still had a lot of miles left to get out of this thing and it was new enough that it hadn't seen a ton of wear and tear but old enough that we could afford it with all of the loaded options. So one of the boxes that both of us really wanted was that we wanted it to be four wheel drive. Just to do the boondocking that we want to do, that really had to be checked off the list. And this one that Olivia found was four wheel drive. It has the Z71 off-road package in it. Yes, so it has the towing package, which is really great for us. Obviously, we're going to be towing our home with it. And another thing I really wanted, if possible, was to have leather seats. And that's just simply for easier cleanup with the dog and a baby coming in the future. I felt like cloth seats would just get destroyed and be really hard to upkeep. So we were lucky enough that this one did have the leather seats as well. And we already have a, a nice seat protector for River in the back so she doesn't mess it up. Shout out. Out to I'm not lost I'm RVing those guys gifted that um, protector to us almost a year ago yep. now in anticipation of this new truck yeah. so we are so glad to finally be able to yeah, use it. Yeah finally got to pull it out of storage and uh, take Riv on a ride the other day she loves having a whole back seat to herself and two windows to hang out of so she's super happy too. We definitely needed enough space for the dog and baby to fit comfortably both back there and the seats um, lift up kind of independently so we can put one side up and Riv can be down on the floor while the baby is up higher on the seat. And then some of the boxes that it checked that weren't necessary for us were um, heated seats, a remote start. It mm -hmm. had just, because it was one of the highest end models of this year, 
in its age, like Olivia said, we still were able to get it at a decent price, but it has a lot of these luxuries that we are not even used to. Yeah, this is like old news to everyone else, <laughs> but in the Ranger, we were still had the crank windows um, and not as many uh, luxuries as most of the new vehicles that, these days. So we're really excited about that. So let's get into a few of the specs with the engine though. Uh, Olivia knows these because she's been doing all the research, but uh, what liter engine is it? So it's a 5.3 liter engine. It's a V8. Uh, it will definitely handle all of our power needs. We were looking for a half ton because the at the end of the day, the Airstream can max out at about 5,000 pounds. That's as heavy as it can be safely. And this tows roughly around 7,000 pounds. So we, we're, we're good to go there. Uh, you want to show us inside and show off the uh, condition of this bad boy? Sure, yeah. And not to mention, we didn't even mention it, but it already had a truck cap on it, like on the back, and yes. that was huge, the that, camper shell. That was another box for me that if at all possible, we could find one with a camper shell already on the back uh, because it'll just really increase our storage capacity. It's going to be our garage back there. It's going to hold all of our baby stuff, <laughs> all of our um, like camping stuff, like the generator and things, and we want to get a drawer system, like a sliding drawer system, System back there so we can pull out that tray and be able to access everything much more easily. So let's go take a look inside. Alright guys, so this was uh, only had one previous owner. Uh, it was a guy from Canada. We're assuming it was a snowbird. Probably just used it to drive down to Florida occasionally for the winter. Um, and it's in great condition. It has very been very well maintained. All the interior looks great. All of the leather is really great. We are very happy with the condition of it so far. One thing I am super excited about is kind of the freedom it will allow me. It is an automatic, so I feel much more comfortable towing now. I never real, really felt comfortable towing with the manual truck. It seemed like uh, too much uh, could go wrong for me. Like I know most of it was in my head and I would have been totally fine doing it, but I just imagined myself like sitting at a stop sign and having that trailer like pushing me forward and stalling out a thousand times. Um, and having that added stress of towing the trailer behind me. So now with the automatic truck, I have a little bit more freedom to uh, help out with towing and travel days and just to be able to kind of take it out and be by myself for a while if I want to too. So one thing with the truck being a 2012, it doesn't have as like high tech of a stereo system here. So we don't have like the backup monitor here or the um, Bluetooth connection. We can do like hands-free calling, but that's about it. We do have like a little USB hookup so we can still listen to our music and stuff in the glove box here or in the center console here. But um, we've been debating about whether or not it would be helpful or even necessary to update this um, so that we could have a backup camera on here. Um, we don't know. We've never really had it before. What's your opinion? Do you think it's necessary or a frivolous option? Let us know what you think in the comments below. All right, let's come on the back seat. So this, come on in. This is a full crew cab. We have, like Olivia said, these. this whole half uh, slides down so we can open up the floor area but there is plenty of room back here for grown adults. We can finally be the people that take our friends around instead of having to drive or ride with someone else. So it is exciting to see that the baby, the dog, and our grown up friends can ride along with us, which will be great because now we can entertain in the Airstream as well, being bigger, so. This is the back. It has a beautiful truck bed liner in it, which is a great plus. But you can also see the camper shell. Uh, can't argue with this. We're gonna have a lot more stuff to bring around with us now that we have a baby on board. So this will definitely hold a lot more. But Olivia, on top of all this, finding the truck, she has found this awesome system that slides out so you can access things in the very back and have it slide out 
we are definitely going to get one of those. It might be a few months before we get it in here, but it'll really make the shorter bed way more useful because it has drawers underneath it and a top layer that slides all the way out. So we'll try to get the maximum usage out of the back of this. All right, so that's our new to us truck. We hope it serves us well over the next few years and tows the Argosy really great. We can't wait to tow it for the first time and get our car seat all set up in there and just be able to enjoy the extra space and luxury of this vehicle versus the little Ford Ranger that, hey. that did its job, but <laughs> I am so happy to be done with it. Don't talk bad about the Ranger. I come from the Ford line of trucks. This GMC is a new deal for me. So let me know what y'all think about the GMC. I'm excited about it. It seems awesome. So I hope the journey going forward is a great success with the GMC. Yeah, so uh, we have definitely enjoyed it so far. It made the seven hour drive back from Orlando much more comfortable. Poor Kyle was in the Ranger with no AC and I had the AC blasting, the heated seats on my aching back. I was feeling good in there. So thank you guys for watching and give the video a big thumbs up and we'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.